I say you have to wait a couple of days. So, so let's yeah. say that you've gone on this great first date, or at least you perceive it to be this great first date. You're the woman on the date. Date is over. You're sitting at home. Do you text him? He has no. 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 Thank you so much, because men are paying Shell and all, all this money for these dates. They do, and these ex through matchmakers these ex in L.A. It's expensive. Sometimes oh, yeah. 100, 200 for a dinner, and then the girl doesn't want to see him again. And rarely does a woman uh, call or text the next day to say thank you. All right. And so that makes they're like, she didn't want to see me again, but gosh, she she appreciated. She said thank you. It means a lot. Well, to there's, so, there's, so you're wait, all there's agreement, real, though, the next I say morning, 48 though. hours. I, I, no, you say 48 I hours? say to, about 24 hours. If you haven't heard from somebody, mm -hmm. 24 to 48 hours. First of all, you can't presume that that person doesn't want to go out with sure, you. Sure, you know. Anything can happen. Illness, work, everything. Got, right. These poor guys. He could have met another they, woman they after get, the day. They get the accused of <laughs> not liking you because they didn't somehow oh, respond you don't know to why. you. you don't and know you have why. no idea why. True. So true. I say you have to wait a couple of days. And if you still haven't heard and you had an absolutely wonderful time, at, by all means, send him an email. Okay. Or text if you want, I, and I just really say, I, I, I just, just really wanted to tell you that I had a wonderful time the other night. Okay. Thank so, you. So that, thank that, you that, again. She doesn't thank appear desperate again. at that point. No, thank no. you. Thank you again. That's my, all. My, up to I want to say something. So you and I, we're both in D.C. Yes. And who, what, what kind of women do we have in D.C.? Strong, powerful, assertive women, right? Yes. Very, very compelling I, women. Okay. So <laughs> I tell women every day, let the man be the man. Okay. You know, when you're in the boardroom and you're in front of 40 people and you're telling them what's what and you're running a business, but when you're on a date, couldn't you just let the guy know at the end of the date you really liked him and let him be the hunter and let him feel good about the fact that he pursued sure. you? Right. Sure. He but what about you. all of these books and blogs, once again, that are telling the guy, you know what? You're soft if you text right back or if you call right back. No. Wait two days or wait no, three days. Well, they're getting bad oh. advice. They're, sure, but what does games. the woman do in that situation? But see, that's why the woman should not be waiting around. No, waiting right. doesn't mean, it doesn't mean, yeah. you know, I think, you know, one, don't wait, okay? Because then you're going to come up with all these stories about what's going on or he must have met someone else or, or maybe he got into an accident or, you know, on all different ends of the spectrum. Okay. So one, don't wait around. You're not that woman. You, you recognize you're a high value woman. You're not not a woman who waits around. Now, if he calls three days later, here's the other thing that happens, what I find what happened with, with guys sometimes. Maybe something did happen. Maybe he had a deadline for work, maybe. So then he, some guys will actually hesitate to call because they're like, okay, I've had experience with this before. If I call her and I didn't call, you know, I haven't spoken with her, I haven't called her right after the date. It's been four days. So if I call her now, she's gonna rip my head off because she's like, like, you know, so I'm, and so some guys will actually hesitate because they didn't call right after. So what I tell women to do is if you're interested in a guy, if you felt, like those three questions, if you felt enough there to go on another date, when he calls, warmly receive that. Make him feel like, great, good to hear from you. I had such a great time. Let him like breathe that sigh of relief that, you know, she's not gonna tear my head off. She's happy to hear from me. And then you know you will likely proceed. But you're saying to get to know you're, each you're other saying better. don't wait though. So if you don't get, wait, if, you, though, if yeah. you get home and you go 24 hours, you haven't heard from him. It's okay to text him first. No, oh no, no, I'm not saying no. text him. So, I'm so, saying so you don't, don't wait text. around for him. I'm saying don't wait around for him because not waiting around for him is gonna when he calls four days later maybe, you're not gonna be, if you were waiting around for a day, two days, three days, you know, when he does call, if he does call, you're more likely to, you resent him and you know, bite his head off. So I say, go ahead, go about your life. You know, don't sit there by the phone. Right. Don't wait, wait for him. And you know, just go about things. Now, if four days, five days, six days elapse, and you really felt a connection. I don't think there's anything to lose by reaching out and, and letting him know you had a great time. I would also do that not attached to the outcome, not expecting that you're definitely gonna hear back. And I would say if he doesn't come back at that point, then all right, well, you know what, good, because you've been exploring other options in the meanwhile, and you've been living your life in the meanwhile. You, didn't, you don't feel like you've lost your, any part of your life. Yeah, it's a disappointment, but you know, it can just be that if you handle yourself. Yeah, yeah. I, lo I love it, I love it. Can I say one thing about texting though? Because texting is out of control. 
Okay. I really think if someone texts you after a date, it's sort of some guys are tentative. They want to see if you had a good time. I am all for smiley faces and exclamation points and enthusiasm in your texts because they're so flat. Yes. yes. You know, if you right. let a guy There's know, no I had a fabulous time, exclamation point, smiley face. Right. Yeah. There's something feminine and enthusiastic about that it's, that gives the guy the encouragement to call you up and ask you out. Yeah, no, I agree. There needs, to be, there needs to be emotion, as much emotion as you can put in it. I mean, what was great about this question is that there was high excitement and energy <laughs> in this question. And we can see this is something that we did agree on, is that make sure that before you left that great first date, that you at least let your partner know you had a great time. Right? That's very important, very, very important. Secondly is, once you get home and they don't contact you, know this, there are no hard, fast rules. Good luck.